Which country border is this? Right, I'm at a random country border somewhere in the world, and I have to work out which country border this is. Oh, there's Brazil, and <laughs> there's Venezuela. Hmm, they're tricky one to begin with. <laughs> Right, so the Brazilian part of the Venezuelan border is all of this area. So I still have to try and work out which of these it is. But at the moment, I'm thinking Pacaramia, because it's in a good spot with a big road. So let's see if we can maybe find that word. It's nice to see a big open border as well, isn't it? No big scary fences. But I'm sure later in this video, there'll be some big scary fences. Okay, we've got a sign over on this side. And what does it say? Hey, 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 take me the other way. That is the worst billboard I've ever seen. Um, yeah, that's not really really giving much away, is it? That is a washed out billboard. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What we got over this side? Sentido or Paracaminojos de Carga. That's not necessarily a place name, but let's just look along the border and see if we can see anything that says anything similar. No, it doesn't look like it. Now, if we were down in this town, there'd be kind of signs for Colombia as well, so we'll rule that one out. I'm probably in the right spot. I wonder if we should just guess it. Yeah, let's try it. Guess. Ah, oh, a perfect score to begin with. That means it could only be downhill from here. Let's play the next one, and I am hyped. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, what are you doing to me? This is so rural. There's no signs, there's no flags. I don't know where the border is. So immediately I am thinking Africa, but obviously that could be wrong. There's a cool border in Africa, which is like this, like, it's almost a quad border down here. Oh no, that's on a river, so it's not going to be there. Right, I'll rule that one out then, and we'll see if we can find anything in the next three minutes. <laughs> This is a really difficult one. I wonder what GeoGuessr experts would use to work this out. There's stuff like the car being completely hidden, but I just, I can't retain any of that info. Okay, no sign of any signs as of yet. <laughs> but as we go down this border, I want to say I've been getting a lot of requests for GeoGuessr recently. So here we are, and I was just searching on the home screen, and I found this Where's That Border map, and I thought, that's a really good idea. But now, as I go down this muddy track, I'm living to regret that previous thought. Oh, look at that. What's that? Is it a little ant? <gasps> oh, right. We're not going to find anything, are we? We've got a big mountain over there, which is in the north. Namibia, Botswana looks a bit too kind of deserty. So maybe we go, I mean, I don't know. We need to go somewhere that doesn't have any rivers on it, don't we? So let's find an African border that doesn't have a river, which is probably quite hard because a lot of them are based on rivers. This one doesn't look quite right because of the sand textures. See, I keep looking in corners, but it could just be anywhere along any of, oh, that's another river. Now we can discount that one. It feels more more towards South Africa, but I don't know why I think that. I think just when I've got South Africa previously, it's looked a bit like this. So maybe it could be something like Lesotho, because there's got to be, yeah, lots of areas next to Lesotho in Africa where there's just not much going on. It looks quite mountainous on the topography, though. What about Eswatini? Is Eswatini mountainous? Ah, it's got more road action going on. National Park? We could maybe go between Mozambique and... Uh, see, I mean, I don't know. Oh, I've only got 30 seconds. Oh, God. I'm going to stick to my original thoughts. I'm going to plonk myself there. Eswatini, South Africa. I'm sure this is going to be absolutely hundreds of miles off. I don't even know the coverage. Oh god. Right, let's just guess. Okay, yeah, I was 2,000 miles away. It was the South Sudan-Uganda border. Oh my god, how was I meant to get that one? It's marked on the map, Uganda-South Sudan crossing. I mean, what if I wanted to cross here? I think I'd get away with it. Right, this looks a bit more achievable. Uh, Namibia, cool. So let's go to Namibia to begin with. So we could be Botswana, South Africa, or Angola. So Springbok and Steinkopf. Okay, that sounds German. I think it's Namibia that was colonized by the Germans originally, but that might be wrong. And Angola, I feel like, was France. Botswana, I'm not sure about. Can we see Springbok anywhere on any of these maps? Let's go along the borders and we'll just look for Springbok to begin with, or Steinkopf, or just anything else that sounds quite German. Right, I've only got two minutes, to be fair, so I I'm maybe taking a bit too long here. Right to 14, that sounds more like the kind of words that I'm looking for. Springbok Trek. Oh, okay. Not specifically Springbok, but it is Springbok Trek. Is there a Springbok in the Springbok Trek area? Can't see one, but we do have a little border right here. Right 14. That sounds like the right kind of thing as well. Let's look for Koit Shoop. Uh, can't see anything, so should I stay here? Yeah, we'll stay there for now. I realise I haven't even looked behind. I mean, there might be a huge welcome sign anywhere. We've got the last 30 seconds to move around and see if we can actually spot anything. Uh, oh, that's a cool sign. What does that sign there mean? Please let me know in the comments. That's a proper badass looking little sign. Alright, last 20 
seconds. I am locked in somewhere, but it's not based on very much. Yeah, eight more seconds. I don't think I'm going to get anything, so let's just guess. Ah, oh, I was quite far off that time. I mean, 200 miles isn't bad, but we were down here. We did get the right two countries, but just the wrong area. Also, to confirm, Namibia was a German colony, but Angola was Portuguese rather than French. Next one. Welcome to Mexico. Cool. So is it US Mexico, or is it maybe Guatemala? Maybe even Belize Mexico. This doesn't look like the US but Oh no, hang on, hang on. I'm wrong. So a lot of Mexico-US border is a big wall, isn't it? So there's not going to be too many spots that this can be. Potentially it could be here, or maybe it could be here. Let's have a zoom in, see what we can see. Mm, yes, could definitely be here. Look at that scary barbed wire. Okay, let's stick to the US side, and we'll try and find some road numbers or something like that. Oh, we are moving very, very slowly. The traffic must have been very slow on this day. Oh, look at all of the people leaving Mexico to get into the US compared to the amount of people that are heading into Mexico from the US. Oh no, I'm stuck in the traffic. Can I just squeeze through? Sorry, don't mind me, guys. I'm just heading through. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, hang on. What's that say? Does that say, welcome to Texas? So that changes things slightly because I'm in California. So we need to be all the way over to somewhere out here. Oh, that was a good spot. So we could maybe be here potentially. I'm just clicking on the biggest looking place. Right, we've also got some numbers. 110. Can we spot 110? No, I'll look for 54 instead. 54 or 180. That's 59. These are like 83, 260. So let's move on from there. And I'll try some of the other towns. 54 or 180. Any roads that are either of those? 54. Uh, I don't see 180. This is El Paso. Yeah, I can't see 180, but I do see the number 10 and we've got that blue 10 there. So it's probably this one. So where do I want to go? This looks like the right area. It doesn't look like these roads actually go through. Is it here then? Yeah, it could be there. Uh, I don't think I'm exactly right, but I think I must be in the right kind of area. Let's just let it play out. Where are we? <gasps> We were exactly right. Oh, that was nice. The road number's helping me out there. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. This is the final of this game. Where are we going to head to? Uh, we've got, I think, a Switzerland flag. Cool. And what flags we got behind us? CH. Okay, so I won't CHB. Switzerland borders a few spots. It borders Italy. It borders France. Liechtenstein and Germany. CH might be one of those, but I'll be honest, I'm not sure. That sounds German, obviously. Let's go. Gotta read of the signs. Passports, okay. Let's head through the border and see what other flags that are there because there's definitely some. I just saw some. Oh, here we go. Italy. Bloody hell, I clicked one button. I'm through to the other side and I'm getting adverts for all you can eat sushi. So I think we've got a Switzerland flag, we've got an Italian flag and then an EU flag. Okay, well, we've only got one minute 20 so we know that we're on this side. And what's the biggest looking border location? Because it looks like quite a large operation. Maybe here potentially? Let's have a little zoom. Ooh, yeah, it could be. It could definitely be there. Which one of these is a place? What's this little symbol mean here? Is that a river? Can we spot that? Yes, that is this river right here. We must be definitely in the right area then. I think I'm in the right spot. Yeah, it says Como there and it also says Como here. But let's return to start because we need to be a little bit far back from the border and I need to be on the Swiss side so I'm guessing maybe I want to be about here potentially? Should we give that a go? Yeah, let's guess. Here we go. <gasps> Oh, uh, not quite a perfect score, 4,999. They put us actually on the border, but I would say in all fairness, maybe that's not quite 100% accurate because I wasn't actually at the gates yet. Either way, let's view the results. Overall, pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. All right, can we beat our score if we play again? Probably not. Ooh, no big barriers, no big flags. We are on a river though. We are driving on the right as well. That narrows down a few places, not that I have actually learnt those. Oh, I see some flags in the distance. Is that a German flag that I spotted, potentially? Yes, it is. German and Czech and Swedish. Oh my god, we're at a tri-border. Sorry, I said Swedish. I meant Swiss. That's Switzerland, Germany, and France. Not Czechia. And then we'll have a European Union border. Okay, well that's gonna limit us, definitely, isn't it? Switzerland, France, and Germany. So we have to be here then, don't we? Is that correct? But I need a river. Oh, there is a river. Do you know what? I'm gonna do an early guess. I've got three minutes left. I've guessed and we've got a not quite perfect score because I got the wrong bridge, but I'm still proud of it. <laughs> 
All right, next one. Here we are. Oh, dear. This is the round of bridges, isn't it? Okay, we've not seen anything like this yet. This is a really good map. I'll play this again if we get like 10,000 likes. Okay, I'm heading to the bridge. Oh, it's a long, long bridge. Any clues there? No. No clues on that fella either. Okay, sorry I asked. Oh, maybe I should have gone the other way. I feel I was potentially closer the other way. This is a very <laughs> long bridge and I've not had a single sign yet. We are driving on the right door. We'll keep that in mind. Uh, where is the position of the sun? I've not been doing any of those kind of things. It's in the south, so we're in northern hemisphere. Hang on, what's he say? Europe car. Nice. Dot SE. Ooh, what would this E be? See, I thought that was Serbia, but I mean, Serbia's landlocked, so that can't be right. Could it be Sweden? It maybe is, you know. I need to learn all my domains. I'm sorry, guys. But we have an actual sign. Uh, that could be Swedish, I guess. You think we'll reach land before we run out of time? Potentially not. It's quite a long way, this, isn't it? And we are going so slow now. Why are we going so slow? This looks disgusting. Why is it moving in this weird way? I hate this. We're going so unbelievably slow, but I've committed now. Land's definitely closer. Let's just see if we can work out where we could be here. So it could be Sweden to Norway, maybe, couldn't it? Like, is there a suitable bridge around here somewhere? There isn't, actually, is there? So maybe Sweden to Denmark. Yes, that could be feasible. We could be in this kind of region, like maybe around, maybe there, for example. That's what I'll click on and we'll see if we can get to the other side before we run out because I've only got 60 seconds now. I'm clicking faster than I've ever clicked before and we are making no progress. Look at how slow the bars are going. <laughs> Oh my god, I might actually return to start because I'm not going to get there. Uh, this is a potentially a mistake. This is the way I need to go. Right, we're moving fast at least. Maybe I'll get an essential clue in the last 30 seconds. Oh no, we've already slowed down. <laughs> 20 seconds. I'm not getting anywhere, am I? Let's be honest. <laughs> Perhaps the answer is on this caravan. No, it isn't. It's a nice looking caravan though, to be fair. EU, that's the only clue we're getting before we finish. Let's see, where are we? Go on. Okay, 72 miles away. Wait, did I not click on a... Oh, I didn't click on a border. Hmm. Not ideal, Jack. <laughs> I got the two countries right, though, which is not bad, considering all we really had was a bridge. But then I was an idiot, and I got mixed up on where the actual borders were. It's because of the placement of the word Denmark. Oh, let's just move on. Is this our third bridge in a row? What is going on? Looks African, maybe South American. Uh, we do see a sign. Why is, <laughs> is the Google car moving so slow now? I'm on a time limit, guys. Come on. Okay, what we got? Oh, I've gone too far. Right, Peru. Nice. Peru, Brazil. Even better. We've got some flags as well. I mean, I'll have a look at the flags. I'm always up for that. Oh my god, it's a Brazilian and a Peruvian flag. Never would have seen that coming. All right, well, let's suss out the Peru-Brazil border, see how large it could be. So basically, it's from here all the way around to there. But, as we can see, there's not too many roads kicking about all along here, so that could really narrow this down. I mean, we've got something here, but it doesn't seem like there's actually any roads, so I'll keep going up. Oh, look at that river. I bet that is incredible. I think some of this is in the Amazon, isn't it? But we are certainly not in the Amazon. Bienvenido. Oh, look, they've got some, like, little parade things. Oh, well, that's nice. I am confused on where I could be here. Oh, hang on, hang on. We've got a road here. There's a river. So I wasn't looking here because I thought it was a try point between Brazil, Peru, and whatever country this is. What is that? Bolivia. But when you zoom in, you can see that there's a road further up. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna guess there, aren't I? I'll, I'll show myself on the border based on the previous one. That must be right. Let's go for it. Guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, 5,000 points. Could actually be our score here. We're doing quite good. Right, here we are on the next one. And, oh... <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? Uh, .be is Belgium, right? So Belgium borders a few places. Netherlands, Luxembourg, France, and also Germany. Oh, God. Why would you do this to me? Look at it. It's very nice, but where, where have I meant to click? Should we go Belgium, France? Looks very green, I suppose, doesn't it? But all of it does. This is Luxembourg now, and then... Oh, it's all green. Everything's green. What about there? That could be nice. That's Belgium and France. Well, I'll have a quick look around, just in case. Uh, I feel I'm not getting to anything close though am I so let's return to the start and we'll go the other way instead because it'd be nice to at least get the two countries correct wouldn't it but <laughs> it doesn't look like they're giving us any clues oh hang on hang on I do see a little village or a town in the distance this could help us out to be fair I think we can get there in two minutes I'm clicking very quickly now here we are we're at Harlinge 
slash Harold. Right, right, okay. Do we have a quick scout for Harold? Nah, I'm not gonna spot it in time, am I? I need to instead just try and work out the country. Was that a pond? Let's have a look. Ah, uh, that's no pond. I was gonna say, you shouldn't be having a pond that close to the road, realistically. Do you think there could be a flag somewhere in this village? I'm hoping that if I do find a flag, it won't just be the flag of Belgium, because that will show that I'm on the wrong side. <gasps> We've actually got a flag. I think it was a Greek flag, though, which I was not ready for. But I suppose someone may have moved from Greece. Let me just confirm. Yeah, Greece does not border Belgium. And that's definitely not the French flag. I mean, it's got a bit of Luxembourg blue to it. I've got 30 seconds left. And based on the Luxembourg blue, maybe it's a region of Luxembourg. What am I really talking about? I'm talking out of my ass. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to just click somewhere like here. Why not? Do you know what? I'm scared. I regret it already. I should have stayed where I was. Maybe I'm going to go back to where I was. Yeah, I want to stick with France, please. And I'm going to go here. I've changed in the last six seconds. I don't, I don't know why. Yep, I'm sticking with it. I'm guessing. I should... <laughs> I, oh no, I think that's exactly where I was. Oh no, why did I move from Luxembourg? I think I was exactly there. Oh no. Oh, that could have been such a good guess for such a hard one, but I moved. But either way, we're only 71 miles away, which isn't bad, is it? So now we are on the final round and the final round of the video too. Okay, it's rural and I can't actually go any closer, which is a little bit concerning. So instead, we will have to go around this curvy, curvy road. Oh dear me. Lots of curves. Any any flags, guys? Any any signs, maybe? No? Okay, that's fine. Looks like the sun is it's kind of directly above us, really. And it looks more like Northern Hemisphere, so I'm wondering if we're maybe Canada, United States, potentially. But also, we could be back in maybe Sweden area as well. Right, providing I can get the right continent, I should beat my score. Oh, no. Have I just gone in a big circle? Am I back where I started? How did that happen? Well, to be fair, I didn't notice that house the first time, and that house looks a lot more like a house that you would see in Scandinavia than you would see in North America. I can't believe the windy road tricked me and I ended up back where I was. But yeah, at the minute I'm thinking probably maybe Norway Swedish border because they've probably got those kind of roads. Uh, we need somewhere really wobbly looking, don't we? That's not wobbly enough. We could try Finland. Should we try Finland? Uh, they seem to be bordering uh, mainly a river and I've not seen any rivers. I'll just click there for now but I don't think that's right, is it? Okay, I'm hoping that I've not just accidentally turned around again. Let's see if we can find anything in the next 1 minute 30 that isn't just some nice trees. We found a nice view. Do we have a sign? Oh my god, we have a sign. What have we got? Oh, I don't know what to do with that. Yeah, that could be Norwegian when I'm looking at some of the place names. They've got the little accents above some of the letters, haven't they? On impulse, that sign looks more like Spanish or Portuguese or something, but I don't think that's where we are. 20 seconds left. Are we going to find anything? I don't think so. As long as we beat our previous score of 19,000 and something, that's all that matters. Alright, let's see. 3 seconds Seconds. I put myself between Norway and Sweden. <sighs> oh. Yeah, I should have listened to that sign more, shouldn't I? It was Bosnia and Herzegovina with Montenegro. Wow, that is uh, quite a tricky one. I guess what we've learned is I just have no idea what either of those countries look like. However... We have beaten our score, 20,461. Other than the last guess, we did quite good, didn't we? Yeah, we did all right. I'm proud of that. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more GeoGuessr, and I will see you all later.